Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, we'll be getting out to the polls Tuesday, but our votes for great football today in week 10 of the NFL on ESPN. We've got two teams each hoping for a landslide victory here in this one. Dolphins, Packers, next. Crowds of tailgaters arriving early this morning. These fans are primed and ready for the game. Hi folks, I'm Dan Stevens. Welcome to historic Lambeau Field. By my side is football guru, Peter O'Keefe. How do you like that, huh? I love it. Peter, when you look at the rosters, both teams boast skilled tight ends. That's right, Dan. These guys are both excellent football players and are important cogs in their team's offensive effort. Number 85, he's a very gifted receiver. He possesses prodigious speed for his position, which helps him in all aspects of the game, but particularly when running routes. On the other end of the field stands a player who needs no introduction. Lewis is, for my money, the top wide receiver in the game today. His impressive strength gives him a big advantage, whether he's blocking defenders or breaking tackles. I tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's tails. Number two, kicking off for the Packers. It's time for Packers. There's the signal, football. and we're ready. Number two, kicks it, and we are underway. Number 24, catches it back at the seven. They're turning it right off. This game could become half football, half mud wrestling. Back to you, Dan. Susie, thank you. Number 21 takes his first carry of the... Number 25 receivers, and the defense is in their dime. This... Get their offense on the field, and they start... Number 47 gets the sack. Advantage offense here. Williams will get the carry. Great. Rodgers throws a beauty at their own nine yard line. Number 17 throws a big hit. They put a stop to the screen behind the line. Swimming maybe picks up one on the play. Number 21, powered forward with the football, thanks to some initial blocking. Number 17, throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had his receiver after a few attempts to stretch the field early in the game. Number 17 unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number 86 first makes down, a tough catch. Big gallops like that. First down, three wideouts in the game. Drake catches it in the flat and first tries down, to get down. free. Drake must have a cold or something because the defense stayed away from him on this play. He was wide open. Check it out. You know, you don't see a receiver gets what they expect from him. <laughs> That's his job. You won't see him running a post drop, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. Daniels. Daniels comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Hey, where was the Ola? Number eight. Third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Well, third is such a crucial down, Dan. Sanders sees a field goal attempt get waterlogged. There's the kick. And it's no good. But they will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. They couldn't connect on this one. 
Rodgers tosses it down the left side, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him, and touchdown! Williams makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number two, rockets this one deep. Grant decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopping them throughout this one, which starts at their own 17 yard line. Number 21 hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball. Incomplete passes. And you know, you can tell he's starting to get frustrated. Yeah, all he needs to do is calm down and make the throw. Eventually slides. Number 17 had no one to throw to, so he just tucked it under and went for it. It's worth another look. If it wasn't for that scramble, he would have been toast. <laughs> 86. Grabs the fastball's way. We're incomplete. Now let's see if he stays on track. Number 17 the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third down with the tight end right. Number 21. Boy, they get some good yardage out of this one, First Dan. Down, and they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking, good downfield blocking, and a nifty run. Done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Number 17. Throws up good here. First down, and the reception's made at the... Th Number 17 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. But the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Number 17 throws a bullet touchdown and it's goal. caught for a touchdown. Number 80 is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. That's his first touchdown. <laughs> Rodgers throws this one right side line and it's caught at the 47, eventually tackled at the 49. That will bring up first down. Rodgers made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Great pass, Pete. Reels in the football. Cobb faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That'll be his first catch of the game. <laughs> Rodgers lets it go here, and the reception is made at the nine. Touchdown! Touchdown, Packers! Allison almost bobbled this one away, but manages to keep possession. Way to keep your cool. Start at their own 30-yard line. <laughs> Lips him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. Number 94, the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. It's the sack, and the clock will continue to run. Number 94, gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to protect Get that pass off. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, he can say that again. So far, he's got four tackles and two sacks. Third down, 23 yards to go. Number 94, nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he zeroes in on the target. Out. At the nine. Number 28 is able to catch the ball in these rainy conditions, but he's playing for the defense, people. That rain is really rewriting the playbook out there today, and that time the D. Number 21 gains three yards, and, and that'll 
that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Packers are out in front, 14 to seven. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Dolphins should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Rodgers would find his target on this one. The Finn towards the end of the first quarter, number 86, is going to work to get himself open. As you see, he hauls it in. The Packers, after a missed field goal, Williams was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. They strike first and go up by seven. The Finns, middle of the second, number 80, had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 35-yard touchdown for the Dolphins. Game tied, seven all. Allison makes him pay. He's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. A 35-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers coming up on the end of the half. Ball at the 40-yard line. Number 28 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers are holding on to a lead, 14 to seven. We'll start at the 20-yard line. We'll take the hand. Rodgers throws it deep down the left sideline and it's tipped. This is incomplete. Incomplete. This pass will fall pass harmlessly to them. We'll start this drive at their 39 yard line. Number 97, Jackson back at the 36. So far. Dan, they haven't led up all game. That's what you want. Somebody whose motor never stops. Number 21 takes it across the line of scrimmage and heads up field. Five. He's in for the touchdown. 21 needs to play alive by taking an alternate route, and that route would be oh, up in the air. What a great hurdle. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 81 yards, and they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Rodgers throws this one right sideline, and Passes it's tipped. Nice pressure that time. Third down from the eye. Number 20. Williams gets his seventh carry of the game, and... Graham makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 52 finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out. Williams charges off. Allison makes the catch out to the left, and that's a touchdown. Touchdown, Packers. Allison goes one-on-one -on, -one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not go to change the whole game. They need to be careful. The Dolphins will start this one. Number 21 gets the call. For a loss. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, tight end to the left. Number Alexander makes That's a play on this and forces the incompletion. Up. Yeah. 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 Catches it over. Down over 2,000 yards for the year and still moving. Number 21 carries this one. The sack. 41. It'll be fourth. Number 97 sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. And for this offense. Packers will start this first play of the ground. <laughs> catches this one and... 
Rodgers. Here's this one out beautifully. That's how you throw the ball down. Take notes all you want to be quarterback. Right on the money, Peter. Allen. <laughs> Rodgers really puts the arm behind this one, and it's Pass off. Incomplete. Incom <laughs> Williams has his number called on second down, and... Rodgers lofts this one out to the left, and it's complete at the 23. He's in for the touchdown. touchdown Number 83 is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football, and then really turns on the juice. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. <laughs> Martinez tips it away onto the squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Number 17 in the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. And you got to win a lot of giving up that type of field position this early. Number 17 zips it to the left sideline, and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Jackson took care of his part of the field during this play. He plays the zone perfectly and disrupts the pass. Wow. And it may have cost them dearly. I just don't see how they win four. <laughs> Number two from 28 yards out and puts it straight through the up. Number two gets a soggy football here, but he's on target. And the kick's good. Great job. In At 147. Number 17 throws a bullet. It's the Number 17. Rips him down in the backfield, and that will force a turnover on down. Number 94 comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Hey, where was the old one? Dan, it's all over. Montgomery goes in motion. Williams gets the handoff and heads left. Williams carries it for a third time. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. And that is going to do it for this one. The Packers come out on top, 31 to 14. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Enjoy this one. We're going to get you next time. We're going to get you next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 21 takes the handoff here. Look at the blocking at the point of attack. Big opening up the middle. A 64-yard touchdown for the Dolphins. The Dolphins tie it up again, 14-all. The Packers trying to answer back. The Packers in control at the 41. Rodgers is back to throw as they want to air it out here, and this one is right on target. A 41-yard touchdown for the Packers. Dolphins trailing by seven. Number 17 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Number 83 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 43-yard touchdown for the Packers. Packers ahead, 28 to 14. After driving seven yards on three plays, number two sets up with a little chip shot, and this one is no problem. A 29-yard field goal, and that's where we'll leave this one. Packers come away with a win, 31-14. to Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Rogers is standing by with Susie Calver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You played great today. You just made it look easy tonight. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? First off, I'd like to give it up to the fans. They were big for us at this game today. Man, we just fed off their energy.
and they fed off ours. I'd like to give it up to all the fans out there. Back to you, Chris. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Jaguars walk away with a six-point victory. The Titans won this contest and will now move to first place in the AFC South. Number 38 had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Number 30 rushed for over 50 yards and helped his Rams beat the Saints. Up in the Pacific Northwest, in Seattle, the city by the sound, we had the Seahawks come away with a decisive 10-point win. Down in Nashville, we had the Titans squeak to a one-point victory. Dolphins, Packers, victory. Number 21 come up with a big play here as he gets the carry and has clear sailing ahead. The Packers go on to win this by the final score of 31 to 14. The Panthers' defense held their opponents to under 100 rushing yards in their win at Hines Field. The Falcons won in impressive fashion on the road and will now head home to meet the Cowboys. The Bengals lost this one, but will stay at number three in the AFC North. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Jets win their fifth game of the season. Jackson stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Packers. Patriots. Number 11 is always a guy to look for when you're at the 10 yard line as they are right now. Here's the snap, the lob, touchdown. The Patriots win this one by the final score of 21 to 14. We had a big injury in this one and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. Before we get to the big news of the week, let's do a quick shakedown on the rest of the NFL's injuries. This guy will be out of action for a while and that will be a huge loss for this defense. A hairline fracture of the arm is the initial report, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for five weeks. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Adam will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. And last but not least, we had the Lions come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.